among the lush grain with trees reaching to the sky and giant caves standing up as if for protection leads a pathway to a historic Buddhist temple, Pilikuthua Rajamaha Vihara. Situated in the Gampa district, less than 30 miles from the city of Colombo, this Buddhist temple not only voices the architecture of prehistoric Sri Lanka, but is a paradise to the nature lovers and adventurers. The amusing stunts of Tok monkey troops endemic to Sri Lanka, locally known as Rilava, are welcoming entertainment to the visitors. Being a common sight in most temples and cultural sites, these monkeys hence earn the nickname Temple Monkeys. Pilikuthua Rajamaha Biharia is most prominent for its rock caves and is believed almost 99 caves spread over 200 acres of land, out of which only 77 of them are identified by the archaeologists. At the entrance to the temple is a striking setting with a fascinating rock cave where the Vihara Lena is created and a Buddha statue is placed. Right next to the Vihara Lena is the Chaiti Lena where a small Dagaba stands striking against a massive rock. As the doors of the Viharulena opens, unique paintings of two Portuguese soldiers appear to guard the entrance to the shrine room, replacing the traditional Dorotupala figures. These paintings indicate that it belongs to the Candian period, but however, time to time it has been influenced by subsequent periods, even the Portuguese and the Dutch. Rock inscriptions are also found in certain caves and the letters have been recognized as Brahmi characters dating back to the pre-Christian era. The legends of Pilikuthua are in abundance. Some say it was attributed to King Walagamba who is said to have used these surroundings as a sanctuary when he was fleeing the Cholan marauders and used this hideout when rounding up his army. Today, Pilikuthua Raja Mahaviharya stands as a hallmark of Sri Lanka's historic past but is a hidden, unknown legend to many. To those who would like to visit this serene atmosphere, do enjoy the tranquility and help preserve and maintain its religious value.